Hey guys, we're out here at Pistons and Pixie Dust. This is Faye Hadley. She's the owner of this joint, but you're also someone who teaches classes to women only. It's called Women and Machine. Absolutely. You guys are going to be at the San Antonio Auto Show in November, but we get to meet you now and you get to show me a novice, I will admit it, a little bit about cars. Cars 101. There are a bunch of fluid areas here to dump in fluid, <laughs> and I don't know which is which. <laughs> I just kind of go by color. If I see blue, I'm like, ooh, that's for my wife. Yeah, yeah. Well, you want to be careful because some uh, some vehicles do have blue coolant. So Ooh. yeah, those can get those can get a little dicey. But a, a lot of times. Note to self: <laughs> blue coolant. All right, now we're inside the car. I'm a little more comfortable on the inside of the car. This is where I do most of my business, right? Most of my business. And I gotta tell you, I do like the tape deck. Yeah, I, I wish it worked. It doesn't. Don't uh, tape. So... Yeah, you got a lot of tapes. So I'm worried about my hand when I do this. Yeah. I should be. I should be worried about my hand when I do this, holding it here. No, you tell fine. me after no, I do it no, like no, seven fine. times. No, that's fine. You also want to make sure that you deal with what caused it in the first place. You know, kind of like if you go to a doctor and you have a heart attack, you're not just going to put a stint in. You're also going to say, hey, like it's really important that you change your diet, you exercise a little bit more. So you're going to so, change this engine's diet. <laughs> Actually, you know, in a way, because we had to deal with a lot of cooling a lot system of fruits, issues. Fruits, vegetables, yeah, grains. Yeah, definitely put yes. it on a vegan diet. <laughs> do a little more. <laughs> what if the car's hot? Do you check your oil when it's hot, or yeah. do you wait till it's cool? No, you can check it anytime. But isn't it going to be a different level then? <laughs> no, not engine oil, but that is true of coolant, and that is also true of transmission fluid. I got so, half of that right. What I teach in classes is to use your intuition and to sort of tune out the noise and really pay attention to what's going on. So a lot of times we can tell. Um, yes, exactly. So I can't hear you so this way. No. To me. I can't hear you this way. <laughs> but a lot of times the car is going to tell us. What? <laughs> I'm like the pros. Isn't that how the pros do it? Put it in your back pocket? No, never done it like that before. All right, that was pretty good. That's kind of what you learn in your class. I went from car 101, I might have went backwards actually, 0.51. <laughs> 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 well, that's what people will learn at, coming up at the auto show in San Antonio. Thanks for uh, humoring me a bit. Yeah, you are the humor. <laughs> Faye Hadley, everybody. Pistons and Pixie Dust reporting here in San Antonio. I'm Brian Bowes, Spectrum News. Oh, look, it's stuck. That was a pretty good toss. <laughs> Cars with automatic braking systems that detect people are performing inconsistently. And that's according to a new research. For